next design criteria is to make sure that we're using the appropriate mechanical ventilation system. We want to make sure it's incorporating some sort of heat recovery, whether it's a heat recovery ventilation system or an enthalpy recovery ventilation system. We want to make sure that any of the exhaust air that's leaving through the building, we're recapturing the thermal energy from that air and bringing it back into the building so we don't have a negative sort of consequence against our performance by bringing in unconditioned air from the outside. The other benefit is that it's clean, it's filtered, uh, it's fresh air. So we're bringing fresh air into the building. In typical, you know, buildings may have only exhaust only uh, systems. They may have an exhaust and supply, but it may not be balanced and it may not be adequate to maintain a high level of indoor environmental quality. So the idea is we want to make sure that we have a balanced system that is providing fresh air, but it's also exhausting from the pollutant sources in our kitchens and baths. Um, that's going to eliminate stale air and it's also going to reduce the, reduce the heat loss in the wintertime because of that, the heat recovery that we're, that's taking place. So how are we doing it? We actually have sort of a, a hybrid system or, or blending two approaches together. Um, so in each one of the residential units, we're actually sort of islanding that unit. We're actually saying it's its own environment. Uh, so we're actually installing a, a decentralized ventilation system inside each one of the uh, apartments themselves. So we're using the Zender ComfortAir 200 product, and that's going to be mounted actually on the exterior wall. Um, so we have our exterior wall here, uh, and that's where our, our Zender unit is mounted. Uh, the idea is we want to make sure we, we minimize the amount of duct runs to the outdoors, because uh, if you look at it uh, sort of from an extension of the envelope perspective, uh, these ducts that are going to the outside to both exhaust the stale air and to provide the fresh air uh, are extensions of the envelope. They need to perform as well as the envelope's performing in order for us to not have heat gain during the summertime or heat loss during the wintertime, because we're going to have very cold or very hot air inside these pipes. Uh, as they're operating continuously. So we want to make sure that they're, uh, one, it's with the Zender product, actually it's made of insulation, but we also have an additional insulation that we're installing around those pipes to increase their performance even higher. Uh, and then by locating them on the out exterior wall, we're minimizing the runs. So the runs are very short, they're, you know, they're not that long, um, and so it's, it's going to have a, you know, sort of a minimal impact in terms of our energy uh, performance in this building. The unit is a uh, uh, sort of a manifold system. So the idea with this unit is that it's uh, home runs to each one of the diffusers. Uh, so we have uh, 36 uh, CFM coming out continuously out of the kitchen. Uh, that's uh, attached with two ComfortFlex pipes going back to the manifold. And then we have 24 CFM continuous coming out of the bathrooms. And then again, there's two ComfortFlex pipes going back to that manifold. And then in order, in order for us to have actually a balanced ventilation system, we need to supply air. Uh, so we're supplying that air into uh, the living room at the rate of 36 CFM. And then we're supplying that air also into the bedroom at a rate of 24 CFM. And by providing the air and the exhaust on separate sides of the, of the apartment, we're going to have a good flow of air between the living spaces. So we're going to have this continuous sort of flow of air through in order to maintain a high level of indoor air quality, um, as well as you know, try to minimize any stale air from, from taking place. Again, these units are ERVs, so they're enthalpy recovery ventilation units, so we're actually recovering some of the moisture during the winter time, so we don't want to dry out uh, the, the apartments, and we're also trying to move moisture uh, to the exterior airstream during the summertime to minimize our latent load on our mechanical system. So we want to make sure that uh, the, the load on, on the mechanical during the cooling side, um, where we have to remove and do a lot of dehumidification, is minimized with, with using this unit. The central part of the corridors and all the common area spaces, uh, we're actually using a uh, centralized system. So we're actually using a Swagon RX Gold. Uh, this product is actually an HRV, so it's just heat recovery. Uh, we're finding that as we do more research and we, we see uh, uh, some more of these buildings built around the country, that it may be uh, beneficial to not recover the moisture in common area spaces where we have a lot of excess moisture being produced. Uh, we want to may want to, during the wintertime, not, choose not to recover that. So we're going with the HRV uh, option in this case. Um, so there's actually two ducts that are going down through the building and we're exhausting actually uh, uh, out of the uh, uh, janitor's closets and the trash collection rooms and then we're supplying fresh air into the common area corridors. So again, we have this balanced ventilation approach uh, and we're able to now ventilate the common area spaces as well as you know, the, uh, the uh, first floor uh, com uh, commercial facility. Uh, what's nice about the Swagon unit is, is, as opposed to the Zender unit, the Zender unit is a fixed core. So whatever goes through that unit, um, it's going through a fixed counterflow heat exchanger. Uh, whereas the uh, the um, the RX Gold unit, the Swagon unit, is actually a rotary heat exchanger. So not only can I actually slow down or increase the rate of airflow through the, the uh, ventilation system itself, I can actually slow down the rate of heat exchange by controlling the speed of the wheel. 
So as I increase the speed of the wheel or decrease the speed of the wheel, I can increase or decrease proportionally the amount of heat energy going through, uh, as well as vary the speed of the, the fans. So by having control over the, the heat exchange as well as the airflow, I can then now have a really high level of precision in terms of the amount of uh, heat I recover and the, the comfort maintained inside the building. Mm -hmm.